concepts that we're talking about, things that we really necessarily couldn't talk about on YouTube. Join us over on Patreon where we get into all this metaphysical, mystical conversation as well as history and lineage and things like that. If you'd like to see me in other places, check out the description box. There's a bunch of places that you can see me, so let's get started. So, as we activate your magical abilities, what I want to do is first explain the concept of what I mean by magic. Now, you know, there's like the illusionist magic, and then often people who are uh, witchy or do divination or do some type of invisible something can also utilize the term magic. Typically, when we're using the term magic, what we're talking about is, is we're talking about the ability to use these invisible forces within us, around us, depending on your lineage and your wisdom tradition that uh, denotes how you're going to do it, using these things in order to have a cause and effect. So, depending on your lineage, and by lineage I mean that could be spiritual, religious, that could be vibrational medicine, energy healing, things like that. I explained yesterday that to be a energy healing practitioner does not require a spiritual connection. It doesn't require that you believe in God. It doesn't require you that, that you have this big concept or understanding. It becomes more important as you train yourself to have to learn how to utilize and have a reserve of your own energy. That's when you start pulling from source energy or whatever it is you specifically believe in. It's less about you need to believe in X, Y, and Z and more about you discovering whatever path you want to have to the divine or lack of path that's up to you. Um, but that's a little bit more advanced concepts, things that I teach in um, the Reiki Master Teacher Training. The next cohort will be out in August, but basically just starting the conversation of helping you to um, understand this uh, particular activation. So, you being able to activate these invisible energies, first thing what I want you to do is I want you to think about what are the areas that you most uh, align with, meaning what lineage, wisdom, tradition do you really feel deeply connected to? Sometimes people are much more um, witchy or they might do some type of divination like Orisha work or they might be much more intuitive, psychic, clairvoyant in which they might use tarot or they might um, read certain things um, or it's just that it's really infinite. So uh, let me put this in plain terms. What do you like? What do you, what, what's the mystical hippie dippy shit that you like? Okay. If you feel drawn to certain um, communities and it doesn't just have to be one, but certain lineages, we're going to start you there. And I make it very important to let you know there's not a one way fits all. Okay. There's going to be certain lineages that uh, approach activating your magical ability. That's the term we're going to use for these invisible um, energies around us that create the cause and effect um, to simplify a, a, a complicated yet simple process. Anyway, um, the different lineages, the different uh, systems, they're going to say different things, but you have to honor the one that you want the most or the one that is that you feel drawn to the most and I implore you, meaning I highly recommend you, I'm like yelling at you to look at more than one lineage. Why? Because you never, you never, never, never want to be in a cult. And you also um, need to be able to be a historian, to be in a, a mysticism, to be in this energy healing property. It requires you to have a certain level of understanding concepts and the certain things and where they came from historical aspects. So that's why I encourage you to uh, look at multiple traditions. Okay. Now think about the tradition that you are most aligned with. Okay. And start to bring forth the properties there. So if it's tarot, then you're going to be working or clairvoyance work, intuitive work, and a bit of em empathy, empath work. Uh, you're going to be working with your visualizations or the sensations or whatever sensory pers perspectives um, that you are most uh, connected with when you're utilizing this ability. Sometimes it's drawing. It can be drawing nothing. It can be drawing 
explore. If you're attracted to um, the healing modalities, vibrational medicine, energetic healing, this is more of an activation in which how do you utilize your uh, energy systems in order to have an impact on another person's energy systems or just things in general. So that's going to require a number one meditation, a consistent meditation practice. It's going to honestly, I'm going to just keep it real with you, it's going to require a spiritual practice. Now whatever that is, that's up to you to discover and to believe and to learn more. But it's going to require you to be able to have an unlimited amount of energy. We um, are spirit, so yes, we are free flowing. We're going to exist before and after this life. We're probably going to blow and have more lives or more experiences. But in this physical carbon-based life, we have a finite amount of energy. How do you know? Because you'll get tired or you, you'll get exhausted or you'll need this or you'll need that or you'll need to eat, things like that. So uh, one of the biggest mistakes that healing practitioners do, especially those who are naturally challenged and they learn early on in life or they discover the abilities early on in life, is they use their life force energy. And that is a problem. You do not want to use your life force energy in order to do any kind of healing. What you want to do is you want to bring in this connection to source, universe, God, whatever it is you believe in. And you want to pull and channel that energy down to yourself and to the person, the situation, the circumstance. So it's kind of like a split. It's not necessarily channeling through you, but you are, for lack of a better word, petitioning universe source energy, the energy around us. Um, to uh, hyper focus on this one um, person, situation, or thing. And the more that you practice with your meditation, the more that you channel, the more that you uh, strengthen this connection and paying attention to um, these invisible signs that are all around us, the more clearly the communication will be as you are petitioning on behalf of another person. So that is one aspect. So if that's you, uh, someone who is into vibrational medicine, energy work, and again, it is not requiring you to have a spiritual or religious path. Um, it is just letting you know that you have to believe in something bigger than yourself or a greater, more expansive understanding of life in order to be able to utilize these principles because it's going to push you past what you know in your everyday life. That's up to you to figure out what the fuck that is, okay? you can have a combination of all these things then you might have those who are doing spell work divination petition work stuff like that in which uh it might require herbs it might require certain nutritional things that uh you take in um it might require um a lineage uh um appreciation uh i the term i want to use the term ritual but i feel like just like pagan ritual, things like that. I feel like it's been given such a negative connotation that I think that it's creating. I know some people have reclaimed it like, fuck that, I'm, you know, um, but I want to use a different word. It's going to explain the same thing. So I'll say appreciation. So you might see this, um, appreciate, appreciating certain god and goddesses of the lineages that you feel comfortable with. That's also Orisha work. Um, it can also be ancestor work. It can be your direct lineage work. It can be past karma work. It can be across dimensional work. Um, working with archangels. Uh, working with um, spirit animals. Uh, a lot of the things that I mentioned in the prayer of connection. Um, and these are the three buckets that I'm going to talk about today. But do not feel limited to just them. I'm just kind of getting you in the mindset of where you should go. So if that happens to be you, what you're doing here is you're having this communication and uh, this connection to the energetic 
chakras um, and just to explain to you chakras are is an example of an energetic system uh, it can be used in uh, Reiki it can be used in, or it is obviously from um, our uh, yoga lineage um, it can be used in a lot of things another example of an energetic system would be the meridian system the system is used in acupuncture and acupressure because it is saying that by, you know, um, activating or irritating someone, when someone does um, acupuncture, they'll put the needle in, but they'll often stimulate it because there's the belief that some point, I'm just pointing to a random place, but a point is connected to something else, whether that is um, an organ or a flow of energy or things like that. That is a part of another energy system, and there's more, and there's more, and there's more. It just depends on the lineage and, and how they're explain it. Basically, in this moment, we want to activate you and connect you into your energetic systems. The one I'm going to use today is the chakra system, but use that as your platform to continue to go on and do more research and look into other energetic systems in order to be able to understand your magical abilities and be able to utilize those systems to um, initiate that. I try to know a little about a lot, but at the end of the day, when you feel a calling to something, become an expert or become uh, um, really excited to learn a lot about that various path, so I'm going to use the chakra system today. So, this flow of energy should be able to seamlessly flow up and down, okay? Up and down. So feel this in breath. Visualization. It could be a sensation. It could just be a movement of the eyes up and down. Just allow it to be up and down, taking your time. And as you are allowing this to flow up through the crown, down to the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, the sacral, the root, all the way up and down to the ground, back up to the root, the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart, the throat, the third eye, the crown, and back up. Continue this flow, and I am going to start the prayer, the prayer of connection. This prayer is important. Because it allows you con to connect to your spirit guides, to your ancestors, to your lineage, or, as I tell you all all the time, to rewrite this prayer. Rewrite it so that it fills what you need from an energetic support system. That's all it is. It's calling upon your energetic support system. The more the merrier. Bring them on and bring them on in. Um, if you come from a particularly, and continue the flow while I'm talking, if you come from a uh, religious background, this might be a little bit tough because it might be feeling like, oh my gosh, what am I inviting in here? That's why I say rewrite it. More than anything, you need to be comfortable. Do not repeat anything that you don't know about or you don't feel comfortable or understand. You really have to take your time to learn about each and everything and feel like you have the strength and the autonomy to go in and rewrite your specific there's no one way to connect to universe source energy god or whatever it is you call this beautiful energy there's no way there's no way to to believe one way or the other there's room for everyone no matter what it is and this is my opinion it doesn't have to be everyone's opinion it's just my opinion you can't get it wrong you really can't you can't get it wrong i know that's controversial but i'll just keep it there so whichever way you feel called to honor that and be with that so continue flow as I begin the prayer of connection. Um, it is not a religious prayer. It is just a prayer to connect us in our individual healing and bring us together as community. And because consent matters, again, consent is so important. I better not see none of y'all in no weird cults or anything. And that's why consent matters. If you ever you feel like, oh, I don't know if I want to do, take a step back. I don't care where you're at. I've been in many situations as a, a, a energetic um, practitioner, a energetic Father, God, and all for the highest. 
highest vibrational good please connect us to the reiki masters the ascended masters master jesus master buddha master katumi yamonja oshun mawu and all the taras please connect us to the archangel spirit animal spirit guides our lineage and offer highest vibrational good only connect us to our lineage our ancestors and offer the highest vibrational good only rooting us down in our individual healing experience and bringing us forth as a community i say all of this in the name of i am ashe 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 okay continue this flow now thinking about these abilities you have to decide where you want to go because it really doesn't matter which one you master when you master that you can utilize what you're doing there to impact change somewhere else meaning if you are uh, mastering your clairvoyant work you can then ask questions to receive the answers you need in order to go and flow in a certain direction if you are mastering um, utilizing your energetic systems and interacting with others other people's energetic system or other situations energetic system once you understand or or get that sensation of like when i do this this generally happens and you get that feedback from others or you observe then you can tailor that to oh how do i make this x y and z happen how do i go in this direction you can utilize that there then you go over here as you're doing your spell work your petition work and as you go through and i'll use the most appropriate term ritual which means having great discipline this is a very ritual or discipline related um activity in which things are very earthy things are very physical and no you don't i'm not saying you have to be a earth witch or something like that i'm not saying that at all by earthy i'm using it through the astrology uh, terms of very physical very um written very tangible in a sense and so once you master the type of uh channeling spell work connection work herbs um, also crystals can you be used all up and down um, mantra work uh, can be used all up and down once you ma master what it is that the words that you say create the outcome that you want and you're paying attention to it that can allow you to do the same thing that i'm saying that these other things can do okay now wherever you're at and you could be a combination of a couple of them wherever you're at I want you to bring sensation into your hands. Remember, we worked on this yesterday, where you begin to activate the hands. If for some reason you don't want to use the hands, can't use the hands, this can be a visualization. This can be a warm sensation in a, another part of the body in which it makes sense for you. But just bringing this energy together. Now, for your spell work, for your petition work, for your divination, you would take something like a um, it 
someone just out the blue will pick it up and bring it to you. That's honestly more of what the magical concepts in honing in on your abilities is really about. I know it's much more exciting to think of like, oh, I have this thing levitating through the air, but um, things live within and outside of uh, physics, live within and outside of our understanding of how um, things work. Um, and that's really what I like to focus on because it's much more tangible. I don't want you to be fasting in a cave for thousand years until you get this little thing to move. No, um, what we would do here is, for this example, you might have your tool, you're um, visualizing, you want this object close to you, and then you get to the point where you know what to write down, or you memorize it, and you start to say it, you start to say it, you practice it, you flow with it, you just allow it to be, and then you might notice the wind knocks it over towards you, or you might notice someone might pick it up and bring it to you, or you might notice that as you leave this alone, you are you go out into a hallway and someone brings you a bigger bottle or the same bottle of whatever this is. It's just hand sanitizer, <laughs> but whatever this is. Um, and that is really how it flows. So you can really take your entire life, whatever you want, love in your life, career, money, family, friendships, hobbies, um, health. You can bring that in and pull it towards you. Um, and in that way, it becomes very practical. So that was the example of what we're using with spell and divination work and paying attention, paying attention, because there's so many times where people want to miraculously heal their health, but they don't pay attention. The, the, the signs will say, go see this doctor. And they'll be like, no, I don't want to see this doctor. Go see the doctor. That, that was the sign. So that was on that um, area. Not for those who deeply connect with the energy using the energetic system as a whole. What I want you to do is take this moment and see if you can feel a sensation of an energy moving through your fingertips, all up your shoulders, all around your shoulders, as if you are sending a nice flow or circuit around your body. Can you practice this? Sometimes you might just have to visualize it. It is okay if you don't feel it at first, or if you need to use the eyes, or you need to close your eyes, or the sensation comes in a different way, now try to send it the other way. What you're doing here is you're activating this very subtle, invisible aspects of energy in order to initiate an impact somewhere else. Now you can also rub the hands here in order to just connect you and be like, hey, like, uh, uh, keep the hands open. <laughs> open here, um, but just reminds you of your physical body. I don't know how many times I walk around and I'll forget that, like, I have shoulders and knees. I'm not thinking about my knees. I'm not thinking about my pinky toe. I'm not thinking about these things, but this is a nice exercise to do in which you're bringing awareness here, and in this example, your limbs or whatever it is that you want to use in this moment become the tool, become the tool that initiates the so instead of writing it down, what we're going to do here is we're going to allow the hands to flow in a certain direction. Now, um, I believe the best thing to do is work on self-healing first. So we'll take our hands and we'll bring them to ourselves and we'll petition Universe Energy Source to bring this energy down to fill up our tools and to bring the greatest amount of alignment. Go ahead and do this the greatest amount of alignment, clarity, and understanding. You can do this in your, as I talked about before, your meditation practice, in which you're clearing out or you're trying to uh, organize or kind of uh, format um, what it is you're 
So if someone's like, I don't know what I want to do in my life, you can work on doing this individual work, um, this uh, uh, energetic uh, work, and handing them a tool in which they can utilize on their own to help them enhance because you're a little bit further along. Um, and typically you'll see that when people enhance herbs. So uh, traditional herbs um, or routine herbs that you use, you will also be used cinnamon often. So if I was to enhance cinnamon and give it to a client in order to help them better balance or whatever, um, the, uh, the intention is uh, that's what it could be used for. Now, we're on the other side here, which is that intuitive, that clairvoyance work, um, that so this is all about communication and messages. There's a little overlapping here where we talk about having a connection to our spirit guides, um, energetic helpers, things like that, a bit of connection on that uh, spell work, divination area, prayer work, stuff like that, as well as, I mean, it could be a connection anywhere. You know, I'm not saying that these are clear cut things, but when it comes to intuitive work, that also becomes important that you have access to your ancestors, your archangels your spirit guys, your spirit animals, like all of this um, energy or, you know, whatever it is that you so connect with to be there for you because this is going to be the information in which, honestly, the best way to say it is you're in an energetic social group. Like, yes, you're in an energetic social club and these energetic helpers that come as archangels, spirit guys, spirit animals, um, ancestors, um, it's not the limit. There's no um, limit on what you can call them across different traditions. They are the social circle and they are giving you information. 
expand. I want you to see the future that you want. Your goal future. And what is driving you forward there. I want you to see all the answers to the questions you have been having answered. And I'm going to put that energy over you and infuse it into your third eye and your remaining chakras. So that you may utilize this ability at any time. Okay. Now breathe in and out here three times. Two more. Final breath. And as you release and you let go here, what is the first thing that comes to mind? What is the first thing that you're thinking about? Write it down. If you have great memory, just memorize it. This is going to be really important. So I, if it's not clear, like it's like a random word, like apple or something, it's time for you to go and flush that out. Go into your channeling practice, which could be a meditation practice, and flush that out. If it's clear cut, like, yes, you know what you need to do, then go out and do whatever it is that you need to do. And that's how you can enhance those magical abilities. So, family, I have been um, trying to condense something very big and do uh, three quick examples of how you can enhance your magical abilities again this is very much so in depth i want you to go out and practice so if there's something that you want practice one of these or a couple of these whatever resonates to you and start to chart out your progress are you noticing things shifting are you noticing things um, happening in a different way and leave it in the comment section so i can read that thing uh, I love to hear what is coming up for you all and I've also realized that uh, a lot of people want to know how do we work within the energetic, how do we work within the mystical and not just limit, limited to one religion or one a spiritual tradition or one um, technical tradition but just how does this stuff work and so on Patreon that's where I go deeper and deeper into things um, and here I try to relax you and just allow you to kind of just be loved on and stuff like that. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed this session.